Welcome to part 5. Uh, here I have uh, app v sequenced application uh, 4.6. I've copied uh, to uh, Windows 64 bit system with uh, app v5 uh, beta sequencer installed. I'm going to show you what happens when uh, when you try to convert packets on a 64-bit version of of Windows, or at least AMT version. So we import the module uh, app vpkg converter. So you see the the current processor architecture is AMT 64. I don't know if it will be supported in uh, final version or not but I have another client here uh, 32 bit Windows 7 32 bit so here it is 32 bit system I have the Microsoft application sequencer installed. So, I'm, and also I have the uh, sequenced app v4.6 packets copied to this, copy to this uh, client. So I'm going to import the module app v pkg converter. No errors there. So. We can get a list of the uh, commands in the module. Just type in get command module. We have uh, convert uh, from legacy app v packets and test legacy app v packets. Uh, we're gonna test it first, but uh, we are going to create a directory called VLC player dot five oh sorry I need to put brackets in it okay so we have these two directories one is the old 4.6 sequence application so we can do test the packets we type in the path of the old packets and we can get more information so the package has no major errors or warnings and it's good candidate for packets and numeration and conversion so it doesn't guarantee that it's successful so we're going to convert, we need the source, which is the old packets. Type Just type the path of the packets. And then we type the target, which is the path of the... which will be the path of the new packets. Or the converted packets, I would like to say. Oh, sorry. I need to... I need to put run the PowerShell in as an admin administrator. I'm just going to import the module now again, and then I'm going to copy the string there and paste it and it will start the conversion so we have to wait a few moments there
OK. It has finished the conversion. So we can go to the new directory there. And we can see the VLC player.appv, which is the new file format of the appv5 version. We're going to the appv server and copy the the newly converted application to the content directory. see the files here and then we're going to the application virtualization management console okay we can see that the Firefox is there then we add package and we put the UNC path of the content directory and choose the .appv file and click on add and it will import the package ok, click on close publish at the group app v admins check and grant access then we go to the connection groups and add the package apply close Okay, we can see it's there. These are the application. You can see more in advanced details, but for now, just going to the the client there. We have the Firefox there, and we need to start the PowerShell and the. took a few moments to get it running so I think it's something to do with the slowness of the network at home so import the module of the client and sync at the publishing server okay check it out here ok, we can see the VLC player I'm going to just download the packages there wait a few moments ok, complete it ok, and then we're going to try to open it. It's in Icelandic so don't worry about that. It's just some language detection something. Okay, we can see I have the Prometheus trailer there. You can see the icon on the right corner uh, with the VLC hat and it and the file is associated to the VLC player so I'm going to run it yeah, it seems to be working quite nice yeah, works like a charm Okay, let's check another video here. 
just go to the sample video that's included with the OS try it in full screen yeah works great well thanks for watching check out my webpage abv.blogspot.com